Hello, nature enthusiasts. Did you know that birds have three eyelids on each eye? Let me explain. See, we humans have two eyelids, an upper eyelid and a lower eyelid. Now, in humans, as in most mammals, the upper eyelid moves more than the bottom eyelid. That's not always the case with all species, but most species do have an upper eyelid and a lower eyelid. But birds have a third eyelid. It's called a nictitating membrane, which is a word I don't get to use nearly often enough, so I'm going to say a lot in this video. Nictitating membranes start at the inside and actually go out. They blink like that across the eye. They're found inside of the upper eyelid and lower eyelid that we're all more familiar with. And they form a variety of functions in a variety of species. Nictitating membranes are translucent or transparent a little bit, so animals can see through them a bit. Not as good vision as when their nictitating membrane is open, but still more than when their upper and lower eyelids are closed. Now, these functions I mentioned. Nictitating membranes serve a really important function and they keep the eyelid wet, which is one of the things that your upper eyelids and lower eyelids do as well. They also keep them clean, which is a super important point when we're talking about eyes. Dirty eyes are uncomfortable and they don't work well. So keeping your eyelid clean and moist, super important, but nictitating membranes give birds an advantage in other ways. For example, when peregrine falcons, the fastest flying bird on the planet, is in a dive, zooming down out of the sky, it will close its nictitating membrane to pre protect its eyeball when it's going at those really high speeds from drying out and also from any bits of particulate that it might bump into on the way down. Again, a raptor example. Raptors often close their nictitating membrane just as they're about to feed their babies. Because if you think about it, how does a bird of prey, how does a raptor feed its baby? It tears off a little bit of food from its prey in its bill, which is right in front of its face. And then it takes that food and it dangles it right into the face of its baby, who also has a bill, which is pretty sharp. And babies, mm, not the most coordinated of individuals. So you think about that adult, the parent, it's sticking its face right next to what will be a pretty sharp, pretty dangerous weapon that the baby will have when it grows up. And the baby is coming up, wiggling around, trying to grab its food. If you've ever seen a baby eat, they miss a lot. Baby humans miss, baby raptors miss. And an adult raptor can close its nictitating membrane to give its eye just a little bit of protection. Water birds also close their nictitating membrane when they dive underwater. Because again, that nictitating membrane helps protect their eye from anything floating in the water, and even the water itself, bumping up against the eyeball. So, a couple of functions that nictitating membranes have in those species. What other species have nictitating membranes? It turns out nictitating membranes are actually pretty commonly found structure across many animals. Crocodiles have them. Sharks have them. Even dogs and cats have them. And this is a great way of getting a look at a nictitating membrane on occasion, if you happen to have a pet dog or cat. If you ever watch them while they sleep, my dog does this pretty frequently. When they're really deep sleep and they start to dream, they start moving their upper eyelids and their lower eyelids, blinking them, looking around, in whatever dream world they're in. And when they do that, what you'll often see is their eye looks white. This isn't because their eyes like rolled back into their head or anything. 
This is because when they're asleep, dogs and cats close their nictitating membrane. This is not something they have conscious control over. They can't close their nictitating membrane at will, which a bird can. Birds even have the ability to blink their nictitating membranes, which means they can close one or the other independently. Or, of course, they can close both. But like I said, for a dog, when it's asleep and you see that white of its eye, that's its nictitating membrane. They're really cool structures. They have blood vessels that give them nutrients. They have muscles that control their movement. They're these really complex, really cool structures. And they are fascinating and crazy that they are a third eyelid on each eye. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you picked up a little something. I hope you get to see a nictitating membrane at some point. Leave a comment uh, below this video if, if you've ever seen a nictitating membrane on any species. If you want to get a good look at one in video form, I will also leave in the description a link to a really cool video of a raptor blinking its nictitating membrane. So you can check that out as well. This video is not mine. It's from a different YouTube channel. So thanks for the view, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, enjoy the natural world.